friends. So for our art project today, we're obviously going to do some drawing, but we're also going to talk a little bit about some history, history from long, 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 long ago, 400 million years ago, so long ago. We're going to be looking at these creatures, some of which you might sort of recognize. Maybe you've seen them in fossils, or maybe you see sort of variations of these animals today. What we have here is an ammonite. This is also an ammonite. And we have trilobite, a trilobite right here, which kind of looks like a horseshoe crab, if you've ever seen one of those. And then what we have right in the middle here is a tiktalic, tiktalic, which is a lobe-finned fish. What's that? A lobe-finned fish was an ancient kind of fish that had bones in its fins. Why is that important? Well, before creatures lived on land, they all lived in the water. And the Tiktaalik was one of the first creatures to take his bony fins and try to walk on land. And people think, or um, paleontologists think, and historians, that this Tiktaalik is like a very early crocodile. And because of this creature and other lobe-finned fish, we have, you know, frogs and reptiles, lizards and geckos, and all of these creatures that have four legs and walk on land. Before all of them came this guy. And I think he's pretty cool, kind of cute. So I thought we would draw him today. So what did I use to make this little piece of artwork? Well, I used a lot of the things that I kind of use a lot because I think you guys probably have them at home. I used a black Sharpie, some watercolor, and my crayons. I would suggest you could use the same too, but if you would like to use a different kind of paint that you have at home, that is totally okay with me. So what I'd like for you to do when making this project is I would like you to draw two creatures. You can do the big tiktaalik, which is just like, sort of like a crocodile with fins. And if you want, you can do a little trilobite or ammonite from up here. They're not too hard to draw. So two of those creatures. And then I would like if you uh, color in everything nicely. Those are my two expectations for you. Let's get started. All right, guys, I'm starting out by drawing the head of my tiktaalik, which is sort of shaped like almost, I thought like a short carrot, if I was drawing a carrot. I'm drawing a long line over and a fin on the bottom there. Then I'm drawing another long line because our tiktaalik has a really long body and it connects to our tiktaalik's tail. And from there, we're gonna put another fin on there, right at the bottom. I'm gonna add some little lines to our tiktaalik's fins because like I mentioned before he's got some little bones in his fins. I added an eye here but then I decided I didn't really like the placement of my eye so I ended up moving it closer to the front. Before I did that I added some little nostrils and a smile for my tiktaalik. Now here I am moving the eye up to the front. I didn't cut this just because I wanted to show you this is another reason why it's so great to use pencil when we're drawing because we have time to make adjustments. So I did a little almond shaped eye there. From there I'm going to start drawing the water um, to the land. So the funny thing about the tiktaalik is you always 
see this little guy kind of going from water to land. Because that's the whole idea of why he's important, right? Because he went from water to land. I wanted to add some other little details, so I started drawing uh, this trilobite, which is, you can kind of start with an oval shape and then draw some lines across him. I will attach a picture of a bunch of different trilobites so we can try to uh, sort of choose which ones we want to draw. They look like big bugs or hermit crabs, I think. And you'll remember we've thrown bugs before for this class. So I think you all are going to do great on this little trilobite guy. Not all trilobites have um, legs like this, but I wanted to give him some legs. I felt like he should get the opportunity to have some legs to wiggle around too. Now I'm adding some little um, lines to my fins to make him look a little bit better. From here, I'm gonna draw my first ammonite, or sort of prehistoric ammonite. And I do that by making a swirl on my paper. I think the ammonite kind of looks like a snail with long tentacles, like a squid snail of sorts. It's got this head part to it that I added. I almost wish I didn't add that, but it's okay. And then I added an eye because you can usually see a little eye on one of these. And then I did my other one, um, which has a more um, triangular shaped shell going around it, but it's still got the same sort of um, tentacles that the other one does, sort of like a squid. I sped this next part up because we already saw how to draw our tiktalic, but if you want another review, I have this part here. I'm just doing my lines again, and it's just nice and easy to use a sharpie and make sure that um, none of your details got too messy or anything like that. If you don't have a sharpie at home, remember that you can always use a pen or a black colored pencil or a black crayon. Those will also work. Okay, at this point I'm gonna erase my pencil lines really fast, um, just with my eraser cap. And I kind of sped through this a little bit because, you know, it's not the most important thing that you have to see. Pretty soon we're gonna start um, by drawing some little scales on our tiktalic um, with crayon. And I started that right here. And I'm doing a bunch of upside down little U's and uh, sort of looping them together so we create a line. I like to call this a scalloped line. It's like an upside down U line, I would say. That, that works as a line name too. So if you want, you can make your scales bigger than I'm making them, but I feel like if you're patient with this and you do scales all over your TikTok, it ends up looking really nice in the end. So you should give that a shot. I think you'll be happy with how it looks.
Okay, now time to go in on our little trilobite. And I'm doing this guy gray. I don't know if they were gray in um, life. I think they were gray or black. They're not as interesting. I think you all know at this point that I don't really mind whichever color you want to do um, on your creatures. They don't have to be the color that they originally were, especially because in these ancient days, we don't really, really know what these creatures would have looked like. Um, a lot of them are just educated guesses, like we learn all we can about these creatures. So we can try to figure out what they looked like um, way back in the day, but obviously we weren't there. 400 million years ago, so it's really hard to say what these creatures looked like. Maybe they looked different, but that's why I don't really think it's a, a big deal if you want to make them a different color than I'm making them here. And since I'm watercoloring uh, this piece, this drawing that we've done, I'm doing the smaller details that I have in here with my crayon because I know later when I watercolor, I'm going to watercolor the whole paper, and I'm a little afraid of losing those details on my little creatures here. So I'm just um, adding some details that I don't want to lose in crayon, because as we all know, that crayon will show up nicely through our watercolor. You'll also see here that I'm drawing a very basic sort of fern by the water, and I'm doing this with crayon as well. And another thing that I wanted to mention, which I learned when I was looking up uh, these creatures, is that because creatures didn't really live on land yet, as I mentioned before, there were no creatures really to eat the plants. So the plants kind of ruled the earth um, because there were no creatures to live in them or eat them. So there was tons and tons of plants gotta add plants around when we know there's tons of them about and around our prehistoric creatures. So those plants were pretty easy. I just did some curvy lines and attached some sort of shorter curvy lines to that. Okay, you guys can tell me what you think of this. I sort of wish I didn't put these lines in here. I thought they looked kind of weird, but I wanted to do it because it sort of looked like my creatures were floating through the air and I wanted to show that they're actually supposed to be underwater swimming around. So I put these wavy lines over top to make it look more like water. And whenever I think of prehistoric water, I always think of it being a little bit greener than some of the oceans today. And I don't know why that is. I just, I don't know. <laughs> But um, I do those. You don't have to do those. Um, you can decide for yourself how you think it looks on my piece. Just adding a little bit more detail to my fins here before I get to watercoloring. Um, so at this point, if you're following through the video, you could go grab your watercolor set um, after you're all done detailing your creatures and adding all the little lines that you wanted to add before you do a nice watercolor wash to color the whole thing in. Okay, here I grabbed a flat brush and I'm just going to take that flat brush and um, use some bluish greenish watercolor to cover um, my, uh, uh, my prehistoric creatures at the top that are covered by water, just again to indicate that they are underwater and you can see that our plants are um, resisting that watercolor so they look more like their own land. I, I really liked that sort of effect that that gave. Um, so I think I end up adding a little bit more um, green to this watercolor eventually, but I'm just starting with this blue layer all around. So here I'm speeding up the watercolor a little bit just because um, you're all great watercolorers already and I think you will do great. So I'm going to grab that green that I've got here and I'm making my TikTalic green today.
For this color, I mixed together yellow and brown on my watercolor palette to create some sort of sandy dirt color. Okay, my friends, we're getting to the end here. Um, I hope you enjoyed doing this prehistoric creature, creatures rather. I thought it was fun. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.